morning to all of you. My name is Pankaj Dubey, and I'm born and brought up in Varanasi. I would share with you about my experiences and the learnings of life and how it led me to rise. And maybe there's cue for everyone in the room here. My biggest learnings have come from a guru who is always with me. And those teachings, I will share with you. The couple of basic ones first, and then I'll go on how to uh, use these technologies to rise in life. The number one thing that I learned from him that, you know, the human mind is negative. So most of the time, the mind is designed in such a way that you see the negatives first. After passing out from his school, I was good at maths, and I started teaching maths to a fellow students and to my juniors, and that became my first profession. So immediately after passing out of the school, I was earning for myself, I funded for my graduation and post-graduation studies all by my earnings. So the first thing that I would like to share with you about maths and an example from there, a table, two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six, two fours are eight, two fives are 10, two sixes are 12, two sevens are 14, two eights are 16, two nines are 17, two tens are 20. Did you notice something? You have the mistake? That's how the mind is designed. So 90% of the time I was correct, but your mind was at that 10%. So we have to learn how to make the mind focus towards the positive. The second big learning that I got was that we are all forms of energy. And by the basics of physics, energy cannot be created and cannot be destroyed. This is termed in various religions differently, like in Christianity it's called soul, in Islam it's called ruh, and in Hinduism or Sanatana Dham, we call it uh, atma. Now the, this energy, we all know that we are a form of energy, but we forget. We forget the difference between the body and the energy. So when a person is dead, what happens? We say that this person is lying dead. When we ask, where is that person? We say, this person has gone. Which means that you are that energy which has gone. But most of the time when we are in this body, we are associating ourselves with my right hand, my left hand, my ear. So he taught me, dis distinguish yourself from this energy and body, and this will make you have enormous potential in yourself. Now, the first thing that he said in order to convert this negative energy to positive is to respect. You know, to respect yourself, your boss, and the females. Now, if you don't respect yourself, what happens is that you don't listen to yourself. When you don't respect yourself, you are undermining your own capability. And what's most important is your feeling. For anything in life, the most important thing is how do you feel about it? And if you feel good about yourself, you would do good. And if you feel bad about yourself, you will restrain your own potential. So therefore, please respect yourself first. Number two is to respect the boss. Now, most of the time, we learn the hard way in the corporate world. If you don't respect the boss, then we learn that we have to respect. But if you learn, Right from your childhood, your first boss is your mother, then your father, your siblings, your teachers, professors, and also your colleagues in office. In fact, even your children and the grandchildren are your boss, because if you have a latest gadgets to know, it is the youngest of the family who knows the best about it, so you learn from this. So if you respect your boss, which is varying from time to time, you would be able to learn more and grow more. And the third and most important thing in respecting is to respect the females, and this is not meant for the only male sitting in this room or watching this video. It is for everyone, including the females. And my experiences has been different. The moment you respect a female, you rise in life. I'll share with you about my experience when I married a classmate and when I made all 
you know, things suitable to her so that she comes to my home and she feels comfortable, I feel that made a great thing for my own success. Similarly, when we were expecting our first baby, you know, everybody in my extended family was expecting a son, but we were blessed with a daughter, Ishani. She was very beautiful. She is still very beautiful. And we really love her the way that she came in our family. And you know what happened? Within a few weeks of her coming to our house, and the way that we respected her, we were rewarded. And I got triple promotion in one single letter. You know, in a company where I was told at the time of joining that Mr. Pankaj, in this company, it takes three years for the assessment, and only after three years you will be eligible to be promoted. So in my third year, I got three promotions in one shot. Five years later, I had, uh, my wife was expecting again, and this time everybody saying, okay, this time you will have a son. Fortunately, again, I, have, I was blessed with a daughter, Shatakshi, a very intelligent, sharp person, and she came to my life, and we were very happy. We were distributing sweets, and a lot of people were coming and coaching us, maybe next time you will have a son. And we said, no, we are done. We don't want any other child. We are happy with the daughter. And as chance would have it, in few weeks of her coming to this world and the way that we respected her and welcomed her in our family, I got my first big dream. As a student, I wanted to become a sales and marketing head. I got that promotion with the highest increment that I ever thought of. And I got that within a few weeks of her coming to this world. So my association with respecting females is that if you have to really rise in life, you need to respect females. And it is not just your family members. It has to be your extended family, your mother, your sister, your uh, office colleagues. Even in the business, I've seen this gives a remarkable result if you have females and you respect them. You know, we are all told, told about that, you know, we should be passionate. You know, you have to be passionate to be successful. But my guru taught me how to be passionate. What is the technology to become passionate? And the technology is dream big. And he said that if you dream big and you put a timeline attached to it, most of the time, this is a very common mistake that we all do. We make a dream, but we don't put a timeline. And I've seen my, with my own experience that whatever dreams that I put a deadline, it got achieved before time. And whatever dreams that I made and I didn't put a deadline, it is still a dream. So he taught me that always put a dream to whatever goals that you set in. So as a college student, you know, all of us get prepared and many of you are sitting out here. You know, we are told to answer this question, what would you become after, say, 10 years or 5 years? And we were preparing ourselves and I also prepared my answer that in 8 to 10 years time, I will be sales and marketing head. Now, whichever interview I gave and I answered this, most of them rejected me. Finally, the company that selected me and the boss the person, the interviewer who selected me, who ultimately became my boss, he told me, Pankaj, you have an unrealistic dream. You know, I am more educated than you, and I've got more qualifications than you. I have got 22 years of experience. I have not become sales and marketing head. So my advice to you is please tone down your dream. Otherwise, you know, you will not rise in life, and you will feel, you know, demotivated after some time. In the interview itself, I answered him, sir, I am sorry, I don't know why you could not become, but I am going to achieve my goal in 8 to 10 years' time. And in the seventh year of my career, I became sales and marketing head with Hero Motors, a leading automobile company in India. This is my experience of dreaming big, but at the same time, the lesson is once your dream is achieved, you should have a next dream. If you have a next dream, you will always be passionate. If you forget about making a dream and you're happy with what you have achieved in life, that is where your life stagnates. And one more important thing that he taught me was, you know, there is a very fine difference between an ordinary and an extraordinary, and that difference is that word extra. So Pankaj always put something extra in what you are doing, and that is what will make you rise in life. You know, we all go into the corporate world in the life, you know, we hit many times success, but most of the time we fail also. And all the great people that you know about, would, you'll learn that they have also failed in life. My guru told me that failure is an opportunity to be successful. Please learn from your failure what you were supposed to do which you did not do, and what you are not supposed to do which you did. And take the learning from there, and in the next attempt, you would be successful. I also patented this statement, no is never final. 
no is never final you know i use this technology in my life and it has been very helpful the biggest decision of my life i use this no is never final so i went in my college and proposed to the most beautiful charming intelligent and good character girl and said i want to marry you and as chance would have it you know what she said it was a no and i said why i am a handsome smart i have got big dreams i will buy a mercedes for you and in that mercedes i'll take you and get diamonds for you why are you not going to marry me and she said no you are a good friend i like you but i don't want to marry you my guru told me that if you get stuck somewhere just ask this technology use this technology of asking why 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 so i asked her why and many times and finally i get to hear what is the true reason for her to say no it almost took 3 months actually it was not straight away and she told me look my parents want to marry me to a military person because all of them are in army background i am a management graduate and i cannot become a military person i told her look i am a national cadet corps c certificate holder in naval wing i am a half military man but i can assure you that i will achieve big things in my life and i will also ensure that you also achieve in life i will support you to grow in life and if you marry a military person no offense meant to the military personnel i told her you will be posted in family and non family station where you will not get a corporate job and therefore you would not rise in life so better be with me and this was a very soft argument and finally i got a yes so this no to a yes is a very powerful technology i've used that not only in my biggest decision of life but also in my professional life very effectively now i'm sure you would be very keen to learn about who the guru is you know and the guru is you know in various phases of your life the guru changes i explained earlier also your mother can be a guru your wife can be a guru of course wife is the boss at home so you have to respect her and you have to learn from her and she is also a guru in your life you know there are various people who touch you there are spiritual gurus who will teach you and i have learned a lot from various fields but there is one person who is always there with you all the time and that's your inner self your inner voice keeps on talking to you all the time it tells you what to do what not to do and in my life i have experienced whenever i have listened to it i have been very successful and whenever i have ignored it you know i have suffered and i have learned the hard way let's listen to the inner voice many of you might agree with me many of you might be saying what is he talking about i have never heard about this inner voice the same voice that is telling you this is your inner voice start listening to it before i end i would like to tell you the biggest technology of converting your negative thoughts to positive and that's by doing meditation you know if you meditate your mind gets decluttered and when your when your mind gets decluttered you have empty space and then you can start thinking positive because if you get stuck with your past which is most of the time we are then it's difficult to move forward and therefore meditation is required and i will tell you a very simple and a very effective way to do meditation and that is by following your hobbies whether you sing you dance you read books or you play any sport when you are doing that activity you know you are totally into it and there is nothing negative in your head and that is what is needed i love singing and i perform in various platforms and i know when i'm singing i'm not in this body i'm in that sound energy and i'm not thinking any negative so that's something which really makes you very very strongly into uh, converting your negative thoughts into positive so pursue your hobbies now i'll sing a small song for you to just to prove my statements and that song is about a song of love it talks about that you should always be focused on your future and it also talks about that leave the past behind and why leave the past behind because even god does not have the power to change the past so don't worry about what has happened yesterday think about only tomorrow and what are you doing today to achieve that and the song goes like or tir dir 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 day you di o di day du di o dir 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 day you di o di day 
मैं हूँ झुम 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 झुमरू फक्कड़ घुमरू बन के घुमरू मैं ये प्यार का गीत सुनाता चला ओ मंजिल पे मेरी नजर मैं दुनिया से बेखबर बीती बातों पे धूल उड़ाता चला बगा लोगा बगा हे टिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरडिरड